Uh, I want to tell you about three graphical gizmos. I actually have them here with me, and I would be happy to uh, let you play around with them. Find me, uh, find me on the floor here. Um, these are three devices that were invented by this guy, H. Joseph Gerber. Here he is with another famous inventor. Um, they are three devices for graphical data analysis. This is used for analyzing data which, is, which only exists in graphical form. Think about things coming out of machines that are printing out charts for you. Um, these were used in the 1950s. Uh, they were invented in the 40s. Uh, the first one is the Gerber Variable Scale. I've got one here. It's about the size of a ruler. This is a, a young Joe Gerber holding one. Uh, it looks like that. Here's what it is. It's a stretchable ruler. See if that makes any sense to you. Um, it's a stretchable ruler, which sounds like a ridiculous idea in my opinion. But you can use it to do lots of cute little tricks on paper. Um, by the way, this is the original Gerber Variable Scale. It was. Um, Joe Gerber actually made this out of uh, the elastic band in his pajama pants. He ripped it out <laughs> and drew a little scale on it. And you can stretch it out. Um, here's, I'm just going to show you a few simple tricks you can do. Here's uh, one use. You can locate a point that's in between scale markings on your paper. You lay down the variable scale and stretch it to fit the same scale on your paper. And then you can measure in between points with it. Um, here's another. You can just uh, stretch the scale to any length and uh, mark off the subdivisions to get subdivisions of any length into any uh, length subdivisions, which is cute, right? Uh, you can even, you can, if you look closely, you can see there's other scales written on the, uh, on the hard part of the variable scale. Um, you can use a logarithmic scale that's written on there to make equally spaced logarithmic subdivisions rather than linear subdivisions. So you can do some fairly sophisticated things. Um, the second one is this one. This is called the graph analog, and it's kind of a ridiculous deluxe edition of the variable scale. It's the same idea, but it has 18 different marked scales on it to do all kinds of um, fairly obscure different graphical tricks. Um, I, I'll just do an example here of making a square scale. I have an ordinary scale on the bottom there, 1 to 10. And what I'm doing is marking off a scale of the squares of the bottom scale, so you can see the 10 there is slightly to the right of the 3 on the bottom. That's because the top scale is the square of the bottom scale. Strange. Um, those, so those were the uh, variable scale and the graph analog. I have another one called, this is, this is completely different. This is called the derivimeter. It's a small square thing. And it measures the derivative of a curve on paper. Uh, the way you use it is you lay it down on top of a curve on paper. You swivel that little thing there and line up sort of a crossbar with the tangent, right? You line the crossbar up as the tangent to the curve, and then it has a little pointer sticking out, which points on a scale, and that tells you the slope of the curve at that point. Now, I haven't showed you the good part. Actually, this is more or less just a fancy protractor, but here's the good part. It has little knobs, and the knobs bend the crossbar and so you can fine tune, rather than trying to eyeball the tangent, which is actually not very easy to do accurately, you can bend the bar there. And as you bend the bar, you'll see the, uh, the pointer is also tuning finely to get uh, quite an accurate measurement of the derivative at a, at a certain point. Very simple. I would say these tools are, are really good at what they do. And uh, what's kind of interesting to me about them is, as far as I'm aware, they're they're not exactly obsolete, because if you wanted to, say, divide a length on paper into uh, seven equal segments, this is probably still the best way to go about doing that. I don't know of a, of a, of a more modern tool that can do that. Uh, in a sense, the entire enterprise of graphical computing is sort of obsolete because of computers. But if you actually had one of these graphical problems that you needed to solve, digitizing through a computer would be just a, a bunch of hassle that these instruments are still better than computers at doing that sort of thing. And I would say they're still a lot of fun. I like the little knobs on there. Um, one other thing, another Gerber invention, which was much more ambitious, uh, it's called the Equameter. This is um, a, it's a large instrument, but it was used, you put a, uh, a curve on, the, uh, on this light up box, and by, by moving some knobs, 
and doing some simple uh, on paper calculations, it computes uh, Taylor and Fourier series coefficients of any curve drawn on paper. Very fancy in my opinion. Um, if you're interested in these things, I have lots more information about these on, on my YouTube. If you search my name on YouTube, you will be able to find them. All right, that's it. Thanks.